Hey guys, MacBoy here once again, and uh, I'm going to be doing or redoing another a tutorial that uh, I did on MacBoy 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 a long, long time ago. And this is very important for every single Mac user out there. And I did get a few requests for this, so I'm going to go ahead and do this today. Um, it's about emptying your trash and uh, getting rid of your files on your hard drive permanently instead of emptying them. So let me uh, go into depth with the trash a little bit. So in your trash, you have all your files and things like that. And usually what Mac users do, or what the default um, technique is to, to get rid of these files in your trash, or to delete them from your hard drive, is just click the empty, empty button right here. Um, there's another way that um, Apple put on their computers is by uh, there's another way called secure delete, and you can do that by uh, going into right, by going into your preferences and, uh, on your Finder, and then going to the Advanced tab, and then uh, checking off Empty Trash Securely, and that that will do over here. It'll add the button Empty Securely. Now the default, the two default uh, options that Apple put, both do not get rid of those files in the trash 100% and I can guarantee you that. Empty trash does not get rid of, your tr get rid of the files uh, much at all because they're always recoverable by different programs out there and uh, they, do they don't give you the full hard drive space back and that's what sucks about it. Empty securely basically what uh, empty securely does is it goes over or overrides those files so it compresses them like uh, like a bulldozer going over uh, a brick or something and it squishes it down that's just a metaphor or an example but it still does not give you your 100% space back on your hard drive so to actually get 100% and to delete these files permanently which means there's no way whatsoever I don't care if you call it genie on your Mac you cannot get these files back and to, the way to do this is by using a terminal command. So go ahead and open up terminal in your utilities folder on your hard drive. So a terminal will, will open up and log in. All right, so I have Macintosh and then home. Uh, what you do is you're gonna enter the following terminal command. So it's, let me zoom in over here, sudo space rm space minus or hyphen capital R space, just like that. So do it like that again, sudo rm hyphen r and space. Make sure you have the space after or it won't work. And this command is also in the description if you just want to copy and paste it instead of writing it out. Again, that's sudo space rm space hyphen capital R space. Now open up your trash and then hit command A on your keyboard to select all the files in here. And before you do this, I just want to let you know once again that there's no way to delete these um, files once they're gone using the terminal command. So um, I'll just say, let's see, I have uh, 32 gigs of stuff in here. It's a pretty good amount, all right? Select that all again. Now make sure you're in your terminal, so you're uh, in your terminal window right now, not the trash window, but in terminal, but have everything selected. Now just click and drag to the terminal window. So click anywhere on the trash window. I'm clicking right now. I'm gonna zoom out, hold and drag it onto the ter terminal window, just like that. And you can see that a plus sign comes up. Oh, I got rid of it. Sorry, cause uh, I zoomed in. And then you're just gonna let go, and the terminal's gonna uh, write the paths of each file over here. And after this, after you've uh, dragged all those files in there, hit enter, and it's gonna ask for your password. Now. Uh, when you type your password, it's not going to show up in terminal, but you will. You are typing. So I'm going to type it right now. All right, I typed it, and I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to start to delete. All right, as you can see, the files are disappearing in my trash. They're going to take their time, and my trash is going to be empty very soon. There you go. It's done. And uh, there's just one file in here that didn't delete because uh, it was from my external hard drive. And that's a different problem, but don't worry about that. I just wanted to let you know how to delete uh, files permanently. And once you enter the password and everything is gone, then it's just going to say Macintosh 4 like this again. All right, guys, that's basically, again, the command line for this is in the description. 
hope this helped and um, you are going to get 100% your hard drive space back. Uh, I got 217 now. I had, I think, 170 something or 180 something uh, before I deleted this, these files. Alright guys, try this uh, on your uh, trash right now and then comment on this video letting me know how much this saved your hard drive or if you don't have much files in your trash just let me know if this helped, if this is a really good tip for Mac users or not. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this is MacBook Productions from, sorry, this is MacBoy from MacBook Productions. Follow me on Twitter. Don't add me on iChat and become a fan of MacBook Productions on Facebook. I said don't add me on iChat because I'm barely ever on it. This is what you do. I now have a I now have a business email where you can contact me, and the link for that is in the description. So guys, follow me on Twitter, get my email, add me on your email account, and uh, become a fan of MacBook Productions on Facebook. The links to all this is in the description as well as the terminal command. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.